Hey guys, welcome to another review. Um, today I'm going to do uh, the continuation of a DNS test. Um, you know my other video where I tested out uh, clear cloud DNS with links and it did really well. And people have been asking me to test Norton and Komodo. Um, first thing I want to touch base on is that there's a little bit of a difference. Um, there's two styles of DNS from what I can find right now. There's one that's more concerned with um, DNS server security and um, those aspects and DNS services like that are um, Open DNS, Komodo DNS, um, to some extent your ISPs DNS and now we're starting to see uh, DNS services that are concerned with malware too. Uh, something like that is Clear, uh, Clear Cloud, uh, Norton, um, I think Dyn DNS, which is basically Norton anyway. Um, those are starting to incorporate malware prevention in them. So the test that I did with Clear Cloud um, won't really apply to Komodo or Open DNS or your ISP's DNS because they don't specifically um, block malware. Um, yeah, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. There's two styles out there. But um, I'll test them out just so you guys can see. And then I also did another test uh, against the top DNS ones and including my ISP's one, which is um, Comcast. And I'll show you. I went to Gibson Research and they have a special DNS spoofing test and they give you different stats and everything on them and I tested all of them and I put them in a nice picture for you so you guys can um, see a side-by-side -side comparison um, of where they're good, where they're not good um, and how they compare to each other so let's start out by doing some tests here um, I can tell you right now that um, testing out Komodo DNS against malware links is not going to do anything because um, it's, from what I can tell, it's probably not going to block any of them. Because, like I said at the beginning, it's not really made to block malware. But um, Norton is. But we'll test both of them anyway. Maybe we'll find a surprise somewhere. Okay, so we changed the DNS. Let me connect to the internet here. Okay, what you see here next to them is the virus total um, stats. So how many engines out of 42 um, detected this piece of malware? So it kind of gives you an idea. Uh, most of these are within the last 12 hours um, that I found them. Some of these are older, as you can tell. I purposely picked a couple of older ones, and I purposely picked a couple of new ones. Computer's just being slow right now for some odd reason. It's actually Internet Explorer. Let me pause it for a second. I'll be right back when. Oh, never mind. I was about to say I'll be right back when it gives a chance. Okay, so let's try that first one. And that one is blocked. If you hit exit this site, it takes you to about that blank, which is standard uh, safe area, which is nothing. Okay, that one's blocked. That's, that's an older one. Okay, that one is not blocked. That's a newer one. Neither is that one. Let 
neither is that one. So, so far we have two blocked and three not blocked. And neither is that one. So it did uh, two out of uh, six. Okay, so let me write this down so we guys can see. Norton, two out of six. And I'm going to do clear cloud with these uh, six, these uh, links right here so we can see how it works with these links compared to Norton. So let me go grab the um, DNS numbers for clear cloud, input it, and I'll be right back. Okay, I wanted to show you guys something. I on purpose uh, misspelled this so I can see um, kind of what Norton uses and um, I'm kind of not liking that they use ask search engine um, that's not the best thing to be using in my opinion I'm not a big fan of ask so uh, just so you guys kinda know um, what they use so I'll be right back okay so now I inputted clear cloud and we're gonna test out these same links to see how many it does wait a minute why is Norton still showing up let's try again maybe I have to close Internet Explorer ah, I'm probably have to close Internet Explorer hold on okay so I had to close and open Internet Explorer again to get the new DNS settings okay so let's try the first one here and it let that one through and it let that one through and that one okay okay block that one so that's one two okay so two let me check these again just to be sure yep okay so that's same thing two out of six and now um, I'm gonna try Komodo but I wanna try this misspell here for some odd reason my virtual machines running really slow so we can see who they use for a search if they use anybody. No, they don't. See, they have a, a little bit better redirection than um, uh, Norton does. Uh, if you misspell it, it finds and uh, redirects you. At least on that misspell. Um, okay, so I'm going to close up Internet Explorer and change out to the uh, Komodo DNS, and I will be right back. Okay, so I got the new DNS settings for Komodo, so you can see they match. and I'm gonna open up Internet Explorer I doubt Komodo DNS is gonna um, block any of these because I like I said before it's not meant to <laughs> it's not made for malware like the other two are but you never know uh, you never know what updates they've added so far from what I could find Okay, that one is let through. So is that one. So is that one. And there you go. Like I said, it wouldn't let it let uh, everything through in the malware side. Let's see how it does um, at that misspell. Okay. 
Okay, it didn't use a. Um, Okay, so as you can see, it didn't redirect like um, ClearCloud did to the website, uh, but it doesn't use um, Ask Search like Norton does. It uses Yahoo Search. Um, so as you can see, it's a little bit different. The end of the two. Okay, so as you saw that part of the test, now we're going to go to the last part here. Now. Um, what I said is that I went to Gibson Research and they have a special DNS test uh, that they do. And I tested the main ones and these are the results that I got. I put them in a nice little thing for make it easier to see. Make this nice and big. Okay. Uh, phone's ringing. Okay, so you can see that they tested different aspects of um, the security here so what you're seeing here is Sunbelt Cloud DNS Norton they have um, two servers um, Komodo DNS two servers open DNS two servers and this is my Comcast that I run so they did different analysis um, I'm not going to go into what every one of these are. You can search online if you're really interested. But simple is, um, you can kind of compare. Green is excellent, no problems. So they all did good other than Comcast, which uh, did okay. It did good. It didn't do excellent. Um, they all did excellent on transaction ID analysis. This is sor uh, source port analysis. Now this is where it gets real interesting down here. Uh, can the server be pinged, an external ping? The only two that block that are Sunbelt, ClearCloud, and Komodo DNS uh, server. Everybody else, all the servers replied to it. External query, um, that's different. That's um, only two of those block that, and those were the, uh, Comcast and OpenDNS, uh, while everybody else replied to that. Uh, DNS security. Uh, DNS sec security is what I want to say is uh, it's, I'm gonna have to show you guys what all of these actually mean um, you can see that only two blocked that or supported the security should I say not blocked it um, that was Sunbelt and Norton and uh, you can kinda tell that extra anti spoofing nobody has that yet so that's something that maybe they should work on and uh, alphabetic uh, case all lowercase everybody has that um, let me show you what some of these results mean so you can kinda get an idea um, let me open up Gibson research and run a test and I'll be right back so you can kinda read okay so here's the explanation I just tested um, I don't know I think I tested the Komodo I'm not sure test uh, if you go to uh, Gibson Research, they have a DNS name server uh, spoofability test. And that tests how secure, basically, um, how trusting, how do you trust the DNS servers that you're running on right now. And they do these different tests, and there's all the information, like I had it. Um, but if you go down and you start reading, it gives you information on what all of these mean, like the analysis tables, um, how to read and interpret the values and here's those uh, that we're reading about. I'm not gonna go into reading all this because you guys can go online and read it yourself too um, but they have different DNS tests um, they also have a DNS benchmark that I haven't had time to run yet and I will though um, this is something you um, download and install on your computer and um, I'm gonna do this for the four uh, my Comcast, uh, Clear, Cloud, Komodo, and um, Norton. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these uh, in a thread on Komodo forums, and I'm going to include a link inside the video description so you guys can see the full test results. Uh, I'm running out of time here. I got about 30 seconds. I hope this was a little bit informative for you guys. And uh, go to that link down there and uh, check out the complete results that I'm going to get from uh, the benchmark test too and you guys can discuss whatever you want about uh, the video or the results so that's it hope you guys enjoyed it uh, and take care